Hello and welcome to this new video in the Databricks playlist. In this video, we will learn several options and scenarios related to reading and writing JSON files. Let's get started. So the first thing I'll do is read a file, spark.read.format. Now, in case you don't have a JSON file ready, I'll show you. First, what you can do is you can upload any CSV file, read it, and then we'll write it as JSON and then read that JSON. So this is just one optional step in case you already have a JSON file well and good so you can skip this earlier portion so to start with what I'll do first I'll read a CSV file spark.read.format.csv option let's say header true option infer schema which is optional true and then finally path option path here we'll say file store slash tables slash employees dot csv dot load and then let's fire up display and just one more thing I'll change the default language from Python to Scala Let me remove this. Now let's run this. So we have the CSV file. This should have about 10 records. So the Spark job is running. Finally, we have this. Now what I'll do is, for those who don't have a JSON file ready, this is the way. Take the data frame, then you say write dot format JSON dot option path comma and here save this in file store or any other location that you want tables slash emp dot json dot save run this so this is done now let us read this file so i'll say val df json is equal to spark dot read dot format format is json then we can specify all things option here we can say path firstly let us only pass the path to start with i'll take this path of json dot load and then display df json run this so for those who already have a JSON file, they can start from here onwards. So there you go. We have 10 records. And the data types are input automatically over here. This is one good thing. So this was just a basic to read a JSON file. And in case you don't have one, you can also see how to write this into JSON format. Pretty simple. Just like the way we have written CSV file, you have to just replace the CSV with JSON or any other format like Parquet, Avro, etc. So let's move on further now. Now when you deal with JSON files, <clears throat> very often you would also come across such files which have multi-line JSON structure. So in order to read those files, there are some settings or there are some changes that we need to do into code. The first thing is let us first construct a JSON file which is consisting of multiple lines. So how you can do this? One way is you write the JSON in a text file, save it as a JSON file and upload it into DBFS and then read it. Or you can also create any text file or JSON file on the fly by using Databricks utility dbutils. So let's see how to use that Databricks utility. So let's say dbutils.fs.put. This is the way how you can create a file and add a content into it. So let me show you one to start with. Simply what I'll do is first you need to mention the path. So I'll say file store slash tables slash let's say emp test dot txt and in this the second argument will contain of the contain the content that you want to print or save. So I'll just say hi. Let's run this. So it has written that. Now let me read that. So to read this, what we can do is spark.read.text 
we are reading the file as text. I'll copy this path. Run this. So here you see we are getting a data frame. Right now what I'll do is I'll directly pass this inside display instead of just saving it because I just want to view the contents temporarily. So there you see. So this can also be a way, you know, on the fly you want to create files or you want to store some data and then you want to read back. Now what we are interested is we are interested in writing or creating a JSON file. So let me copy this code. Over here what we will do is we'll say emp new dot json here what i'll do is we'll have to split this into multiple lines so i'll delete this hit enter here we will mention the json structure so triple quotes square bracket enter tab just to not compulsory but just for the sake of you know separating things then in json each record or row is enclosed in curly braces or brackets. I'll hit enter again. Now, each will be like a key value pair. So for example, we want EMP ID, then colon, the EMP ID is one, comma. Then next, EMP name for instance, let's say John. Anything which is non-numeric enclosed in double quotes, if it's numeric, you can just keep the double quotes excluded so this is it then we can take comma to separate columns we'll say comma then we'll say salary colon let's say 10,000 so this becomes one single record and I'll copy this just to start on a simple note paste this this becomes the second record so let us change The numbers that's it I just want to showcase one scenario that's why I'm not just going into a lot of records and this is how we will construct the multi-line JSON run this now and just I want you to write in this way itself there is a reason now let us read this file so we'll say val df json new is equal to spark.read.format json and dot option path we will copy this path now dot load and then we can hit display let me copy this data frame name execute this so here you will see you will get an error the reason is because if you read this path as a text file let me just say display spark dot read dot text let me read this file though it is a JSON file you can read it as a text so that it will actually display how it looks when read as a text file. Now you see this is a multi-line JSON file. If it was a single line JSON file, just like what we had originally, you should not get confused over here because I'm scrolling always up and down. If I read this file as JSON, let us see what the output is so that you can understand the difference why the error is popping up spark.read.txt so let's read that as text file so this was parsed correctly hence you got the data frame and there was no error why because the entire row you see the starting of row is curly braces and ending is curly braces was in a single row however the new json data set that we created over here this is in multiple lines so here the json will not be able to pass it or the data frame reader will not be able to pass it the uh, simple solution to this is in option you just say since it is a multi-line record you just say multi-line is equal to true that's it now let's run this and there you go so just one small thing 
so you have to notice this you know in case you get that error try to read the file as text file so that you can understand what the structure is and then you can change the things accordingly so this was another scenario that i wanted to cover and you can simulate this by creating this kind of json file either create it on the fly by dbutils.fs.put or go with just uploading the file in case you have that manually so this is one let's move on to next scenario now the next scenario is nested json so to create this i'll copy this code come down paste let us mention this as let's say new nested json emp nested now what we want to do is let's say for each employee there is also another column called as contact information however in contact there are two things phone and email id for example so how do you create that nested uh, nested structure you open the curly braces again i'll just hit a tab not necessary just to make sure that it goes inside and acts as a child only for visibility otherwise that's fine here what i'll do is the first field is phone enter a random number comma and the second is email so this is how this will be nested so here i'll say abc at gmail.com make sure there is a comma after the phone number then i'll just copy this so that we can paste it here here i'll just change the numbers and the email id run this so this will create the file for us now let us go up I'll copy the reader code, paste. All we have to do is just change the file name first. Let's read this and see what is the output that we get. So this has ran fine. I see employee ID, employee name, salary. However, the contact information, if you see, it is a nested JSON. Now we need to separate this out. I want the email column different and the phone number as different column. So what can I do over there? You see, this is a record. Inside it is an object because it, it is a nested JSON. So it has email ID and phone number. So to here, what I'll do is after reading this as JSON on this, very simple, I'll say the data frame name dot select. And we need to import, we need call, call function. So org dot apache dot spark dot sql dot functions dot call and then here what we'll say is first let us only concentrate on contact so call in double quote you will say contact and to go inside and fetch the phone you will say dot phone that's how simple it would be let us save this first only to start in a data frame and display it run this so contact is the master field name and inside this we have the child field name as phone so we'll say contact that phone so there you go similarly now we will extend this logic and i'll just copy this comma and here we can say contact dot email That's it. We have that also. And we can then rest at the column names. So I'll say call EMP ID call EMP name comma call salary. Or you can limit to any specific columns that you want. I'm just including all of them. So now we finally have an exploded data set which on which we can work in a much better way further on you could have further levels of nesting in this which you could try out so let's say inside this inside the phone or inside let's say there is something called as address so the simple thing is to go on further onto the nesting level you just have to follow this hierarchy so this was two one level of nesting 
contact was the master field and in that we had phone let us assume there are three levels contact let's say address and the internet that you have city so you'll simply say contact dot address dot city so just keep on just doing dot and adding those sub field names that is one thing that you can try out so that's it in this video thanks for watching and stay tuned